travel the country they say it'll be fun they say so day three of problems no today we have no power <laughs> so what what are we doing <laughs> he's a happy man <laughs> You're pointing that way. Oh, I'm pointing at you. Okay. It's straight. It's I can see it's straight. Okay. Um so yeah, we've wake last night we lost power. Um we're actually sitting just watching the power drop and we we're like, that's just not right. So we're not sure what obviously something was drawing. We went and plugged unplugged everything and yeah, about 10 o'clock, 10.30, the whole management system just died. Um, woke up this morning, tested the batteries, and they're showing zero. So we are thinking, we thought maybe the actual little battery BMS, battery management system, inside the battery needed to be jump-started. <laughs> He's always wants to talk on the camera. <laughs> But today, he's like, oh, he can't solve the problem. Well, he's trying to solve the problem. So he's like a bit fed up, I think. Yeah, <laughs> problems. Um, so we're going to try and jumpstart the BMS inside the lithium batteries. Um, so we are going to earth there. Probably not the best idea around my neck. <laughs> Clearly not. So that sparked. Did it? I didn't see it spark. Oh, I saw it spark. Mm. Let's now see if. I need your glasses, buddy. It okay. could be a bit high. One. Oh, we could have something going in. We got more volts now than we did before. Well that's a positive. <laughs> Something's not right. Mm. Why? What's not? Have 146 volts going. Should be managed. Be careful boys. Something is not right. It's getting too many volts going in from the car to the battery. I know absolutely nothing about lithium clearly. But it means that maybe the management system system is kaput. I don't know if that even makes sense, but hmm. we will find out, I guess. So what we've done, or what he's done, is plugged the inverter, said inverter, to, I don't know, maybe he could tell you. He's plugged it in and he's plugged it in and it's plugged it in. <laughs> okay, so, I'll be honest, I don't know. But what I'm, the theory I'm working on is we've jump-started the lithium batteries. Um, it appeared to have a little bit more voltage than before. It was dropping very quickly. The management system in the caravan still was off. So obviously I was thinking, well, there wasn't enough power out of the battery to get that going. When I had the car plugged into the caravan, it seemed to be putting in, sorry about the plane, too many volts into the car so it was like well obviously it's not going not through the, the car. Uh, too many volts going from the yeah it was like it was reading too many volts at the battery here so not sure what's going on but to get that management system working so we can have it stabilizing all the current and all that plug the inverter into here extension lead from here into the caravan and plug the power management system into that that's now turned on our power so now we've now got power here the power management system's working <laughs> so what oh, I'm assuming <laughs> which made you want it <laughs> What I'm hoping is, as we now get a charge in, it will stabilize the current and charge up the batteries. Doesn't answer our question why we lost power last night, down to 0%, um, but anyway. 
I can answer that question. Because we had TV on, we used the thermo all day, we had Starlink on all day, kids had two iPads running on most of the day, we had phones charging in every port. Maybe we thought we were in a house, but that I reckon is my theory why we used all the accessible power. And plus we were parked sort of under trees, so we're in a bit of shade from the afternoon on. Maybe, maybe that's the reason, maybe not. Who knows, hopefully it is the reason because then we won't have the same problem again. Buddy, how are you feeling? Uh, you feeling confident? Pretty you feeling confident, buddy? <laughs> Tell the camera. Yeah, we're going up now. 10.13. So it's um we've actually woken up the battery. That worked. So we had to jump start the battery. Well, jump start the management systems inside the battery. Um, you actually need a bit of a spark. I did have the car connected, but I think it actually needs a that shock. Well, I did say that. Well, we are finally on the road. Had a bit of a technical issue with um, our batteries dying. And I want to give credit. Actually, I'm going to say great teamwork. Because Michelle actually found the solution online. So fortunately, we had a bit of um, internet. Because we're still close to Inaminka. And um, yeah, so Michelle found the solution. And I was able to implement it. So it was actually really good teamwork. So well done. High five. And credit to Nana. Credit to Nana. Yeah. She deserves all the credit. Yep. And here we are. We are so excited. The Strzelecki track. I never know if I pronounce it right. I'm sure my daughter is watching right now going, Dad! But um, we are excited. So we have aired down, fueled up. We got three extra jerry cans of fuel. Yep. Um, and and make sure to water. like and subscribe at the end of this video. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Say it again. And make sure to like and subscribe at like. the end of this video. And be awesome. You can't say no to that. So here we go. The adventure continues. Oh, and um, so they've, there's been a lot of rain. A lot of the roads are closed. Um, but four-wheel drive and H vehicle only going down the tracks at the moment. So um, there are some difficult sections we've been advised. But overall... Um, they did say the conditions are pretty good, but yeah, just watch out for some uh, rough sections. So, but we'll see how we go. Looking forward to it. Just saying how the grass is really green <laughs> and the it's water. I just corrected Michelle. Actually, I didn't correct. I just said when we speak on the video GoPro, we need to project our voice. So what does she do? She shouts. No, I projected can't win. my voice. <laughs> I can't win. Um, you can't win. How green it is out here! It is just beautiful. Um, we're going to go for a walk later up on one of the sand dunes. And um, yeah, it will show you just, yeah, the vegetation is just amazing. Um, not sure what Michelle's doing. She's got the windscreen wipers going out in the middle of the desert, but that's all right. There's water. Um, <laughs> water's in the creek. Um, but yeah, this is just beautiful. I was just commenting, there's not a lot Michelle cannot do. We've done Cape York, she's driven through the, the rivers on the OTT um, or the creeks and now doing the Strzelecki or Strzelecki track, whichever one it is. Very proud, very clever. <laughs> okay. Wow. So we decided to pull over and just walk up to one of these little sand dunes have a look at the, or show you the vegetation how green it is it's just amazing you can hear the bird life in the trees
Trislecki Creek. Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking for some water. Well, before we drive, let's jump in and walk. Before we drive out on this plane, I just want to see how soft it is. So it doesn't look like there's been many people here. This would be a nice spot. Wow, this is going to be beautiful tonight. Another little lagoon. Beautiful. Someone's a little bit excited. He goes, oh, we're in the middle of nowhere. Look at him running back to the car. <laughs> he gets so excited about these little vines. He thinks no one else has seen this. Anyway, he's gonna drive down, so I better video him. <laughs> the amount of times this guy says sorry because he can't hear me ever. <sighs> billabong and um, yeah even the plants just so much bright and it's all cracky cracky crack wow this is just a little probably an, what was an old billabong or a little lake swampy sort of thing but it's all dried up now quite amazing so much to see once you get out and go for a bit of a wander. Not sure what those um, footprints are. If you know what they are, put them in the description. Beautiful colour in the um, sky. Just woken up. It is so beautiful here. Um, <clears throat> and what a great spot. It's just Lecky Creek. Bring it on. Look at this. Look. So we've just had an amazing night here in the Strelecky, however you say it, track. Um, in, beside a little um, billabong. It's beautiful. We saw lots of footprints of dingoes, emus and other, but we didn't see any in real life, but that's okay. So we're heading off now to continue our journey along Strelecky Track. I'm sporting the country look, or should I say, the haven't washed my hair for a week look. <laughs> <laughs> I actually complimented her on it. I thought it looked lovely. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm six. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> the look. Um, yeah, here we are. So heading back out to the main road. Yeah. Or main track, I should say. Yeah, like I said. One thing we want to try and make the effort of doing, and that is pulling over when we see points of interest or interesting things. Okay. This one could smell a bit. 
but um, Michelle just saw, actually let's go forward a bit, a, um, a full skeleton on the side of the road. So we're pulling over just for the kids to have a look. But as we just pulled up, it looks like it's still got some of the flesh on it. So it may smell. Let's go have a look. But yeah, I just said to Michelle, if we don't make the effort, you just end up driving past everything. So it's good to stop and have a look different things wow oh wow look at that oh no oh yeah that's a skin wow what do you reckon it might be wow and if you're watching this comment below what it is what was that, Jack? Comment below what you think this might be. Mm. I see the lips. Yeah, because we're not sure. How beautiful. I've just seen Michelle, how I love being out here. I just find it really peaceful. Something about the open, the vastness. We've got heaps of room here, but we're still going to just pull over for this um, truck. So we've just found the Are You OK? So for mental health um, location. If you look on wiki camps, um, it's actually not where the pin is. So maybe I don't know if you can move it or change it, but it's actually further down. So um, I was looking for it. I eventually gave up and Michelle was just driving along and next to me I'm like, whoa, I think we've just missed it. But certainly, um, yeah, interesting for the kids to walk around and have a bit of a look. Well, we are at the Are You OK? Um, and they've actually, people have dropped off different items. It's actually these two blue chairs. Um, to be honest, I could just sit here all day and just watch the... All the traffic go by. The traffic. <laughs> all of... None. No traffic. <laughs> Um, but yeah, sit here with a cup of tea and contemplate our mental health. Yeah. Don't tell me. I just said we just heard a, a noise. We just heard a noise. We're driving along and um, I got out to have a look. And I've just come and got Michelle. She doesn't know yet. She goes, don't tell me. So let's go and have a look what this noise could have been. It's obviously something I've done wrong. Oh, the door fell off. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna come out open before if it wasn't. So it's fixed. <laughs> All fixed. Just like a just like a new one. Constantly leaves the door open, and the van, what do you call it? The car gets full of flies. Ugh. 